The Wayward Canary is very sweet. This is a 1932 cartoon directed by Bert Gillett, and we have Pinto Kalvig, Walt Disney, and Marcelita Garner voicing Pluto, Mickey Mouse, and Minnie Mouse. And it's absolutely adorable because Mickey has bought Minnie a present, a pair of canaries. It turns out that those canaries are male and female. And of course that results in baby canaries and suddenly the house is overrun with them. And it's quite fun to begin with. Mickey's playing the flute, Minnie's playing the piano, everybody's having a good time with the music and the birds are dancing to the music and it's a lot of fun and really beautiful. And then the birds get into a pot of ink and things just roll downhill for them from there. And everything turns out to be chaotic. It's very busy. There are a lot of characters on screen at any one time. Most of them a flock of birds. And there's a lot of attention to detail in the animation. And I really liked it. I thought the narrative unfolded very nicely. We had enough time to enjoy the birds. And for Minnie to enjoy her gift. And for us to enjoy the pleasant music. Until the chaos started. And then once obviously the chaos started. Everything was fast-paced and heightened and beautifully animated and you know you didn't know how this was going to resolve itself or just how much of a mess Minnie's house would look like at the end. I thought it was really sweet. One of my favourite things doesn't really spoil too much when Minnie um, closed her eyes, Mickey gave her the present and hooked the birdcage onto her nose. I just found that adorable. Such a, a cute little choice. I really liked this one a lot. It's not too unique. There are quite a few cartoons where Mickey and or Minnie end up having their house ransacked by some kind of animal or a litter of children. But I always find these quite enjoyable because the animation is always really scrappy and chaotic and all over the place. And that's really fun to look at because it's really engaging. And yes, it re repeats a lot of things and I kind of like spotting those. I like identifying where they've used the same cells to reproduce the same images over and over again. I just find that really interesting because I'm not an animator, I can't draw at all, so I find the process really interesting. And when it's like this, and it's really fast, and there's a lot going on, there is a lot to take in and look at. The Wayward Canary is one that I really enjoyed. If you're a fan of Disney, or of Mickey or Minnie in general, I'd say it's one that's worth checking out.